Hi there, I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, the trap of comparison. You're on yet another diet to try to lose those 15 pounds that seem determined to dog you until death do you when they part, when your trim and fit workmate bounds in after what appears to be an exhilarating jog, announcing a new record in low body fat. You hate them, but you hate yourself even more. You've had to take a cut in salary. Heck, you feel lucky you still have a job. Your benefits are being reduced monthly when your next-door neighbor rushes over to tell you the oh-so-happy news. They've just landed a terrific guaranteed long-term contract with the hottest new industry in town. And yes, oh, by the way, they're also getting married next week to a devoted and fabulously rich person. Again, you feel the mixed emotions of how nice for you and I hate your guts and why can't it happen to me? You then proceed to nurse your hostility into full-blown resentment. Sound familiar? It's what happens to all of us whenever we fall into the trap of comparison. Comparison yourself to others will inevitably land you in one of two positions, either better than, as in, poor thing, I'm much better off, or I'm a much better person than they are, or the more frequent position, victim. Poor me, I'll never amount to anything. I can't do anything right. Now, neither of these is a growth position. Both of them misuse the value that others' experience can have in our lives. You see, everyone is on a different life track. Everyone has different hopes and dreams, even if superficially there may be resemblances. And each one of us is absolutely unique in terms of personality, background, and level of skill. When you think about it this way, Comparing yourself with another is ridiculous, rather like comparing an orange to an apple and then being upset that oranges are juicy and apples crunch. Comparing yourself with another is only useful if you use the comparison to help you stay and progress on your own life track. For example, your jogging friend is slim and trim. Although your definition of slim and trim is somewhat different than theirs, your life track does include slim and trim. Okay, therefore... Use your evaluation of the jogger as an enviably slim person to ask them how they got to be slim and trim. In other words, use this person as a resource to help you accomplish your goal. Now, their slim and trim is useful to you. You're not using it to beat yourself up or to resent them. You are using your workmate's slim and trim success to help you further your own goals. Your neighbor is doing great in the work and romance worlds? Terrific. Use them as a mm -hmm, resource person. Find out how they did it and see if their way or if any portion of their way fits for you in your unique life track. You only have so much energy to accomplish your dreams and desires in this lifetime. How much more valuable to use it in furthering the success of your own life track rather than wasting it on Poor them, or poor me. Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my new book, I Survived COVID-19, What Now? Finding Happiness and Success in a Post-COVID World. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, as well as my website, noelnelson.com. Or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time, be well and take care.